Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to compress JPEG images using tinyjpeg.com. So if we open up the web browser and type in tinyjpeg, we'll see this website called tinyjpeg.com. I'll click on this link here and it's going to ask me to drag your PNG or JPEG file here up to 20 images, maximum file size is 5 megabytes. So we're going to drag an example into here and see how well it compresses the image and let's look at the end result and the quality. So on my computer I've got a folder and inside that folder I've got this one image which is 944 kilobytes so it's close to one megabyte file size. So if I take this image and drag and drop it here it will start to upload and compress the image and you'll see that it's finished so it's pretty quick and it reduced the file size by 55% so more than 50% is compressed so you, if you've dragged lots of images in here you can click this button here and it will download all the images in this case we can just click this one link here to download and in this folder what I'm going to do is just rename this file original and then we'll drag this file here into the same folder if I would have dragged that directly it would have overwritten this original file so now we've got two images let's just minimize this so we've got two images one's 423 kilobytes and the original one is 944 so let's see what the difference really is we'll load one up here and we'll load one up on this side and we can look at them side by side and really what the software is doing this website is it's looking at the colors and it's trying to merge colors that are quite close together uh, to save memory basically on these images and you will see some slight differences you can see a bit of banding here in the clouds I don't know if you can see that quite clearly here you see a bit more sort of banding in the sky here whereas it's a bit more smoother sort of transition but when you're looking at the image on a website and if you were to re reduce it in size and recrop it and stuff like this then you're not really going to notice so much for those artifacts like the, the petals here still look very clear you can see them here they still look quite clear as well so they're looking pretty good if you look at them side by side you won't notice much difference the only the main difference is going to be in the file size so if you were to use that on your website you probably would reduce the size of it because it is quite a large image in terms of its dimensions but if you were to use that on your website uh, you'll be you know speeding up your website considerably because your file size is half the size so have a look at tinyjpeg.com if you need to compress some images and optimize your website and make sure it's loading fastly using these compression tools okay i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial